This is the biggest change to competitive Counter-Strike. ESEA has been a staple of competitive CS with 45 seasons of its league. The league offers teams the ability to compete against similar skilled teams in even spots in the ESL Pro League at the top level. Other than its league, it is also famous for hosting multiple smaller tournaments that support the lower tier of Counter-Strike, especially in North America like its Cash Cups, and also hosting qualifiers for tournaments. Before I continue, here's a quick word from my sponsor. Use promo code NART and you're going to get a free 50 cents and a 10% deposit bonus. With other features like its team finder, ESA is and was one of the greatest platforms to help people get started on Team CS compared to Pugs. ESL and ESEA had been working together to form a league early on and with ESL buying up ESEA in 2015, their cooperation was secure for the long run, a quite successful cooperation when looking at it now 44 seasons later. But the cooperation doesn't stop there. In 2022, Saudi investment fund Savvy Games Group acquired Faceit as well as ESL and with it ESEA. With Faceit being a largely popular Pug platform in EU as well as NA, Team CS and Pug CS will now share the same home, Faceit. In a recent announcement, ESEA explained it will delay the start of its next season until the release of CS2 largely to avoid technical difficulties of having to switch games midway through the season. As the league system as a whole will also transition, there are also a few key advantages. First, Pugs and League games will also use the same anti-cheat tool. This eliminates the need to have multiple anti-cheats installed. Additionally, the ESA client, especially in the last season, caused massive technical issues. Something not the case with Face It Solution. Secondly, by having direct access to participants' ELO, the league administration can better estimate the level of a new team. While Pug ELO is not a perfect indicator for success on a team-based level, it does say a lot about individual skill. As we have seen with the past majors, accurate seeding is very important to have the best teams go through. With this transition, players will be able to choose whether they want to play on X ESEA or Faceit servers to ensure no server performance differences. Team slots and active subscriptions will transition from ESA to face it on the 7th of July to make that transition for players as easy as possible. Existing trial codes should also still work after the switch. There are still some things and functions ESEA has and face it doesn't. These functions like the forums will also be available on the ESEA page. Stats from past ESEA seasons will also still be accessible on the site, but with more and more functions looking to be implemented into face it, the whole ESA website will quietly die down over time. Now, due to Valve's time, we can't know for certain when CS2 releases. With the new season set to only start after its release, we could see up to a two-month break in competition for amateur teams. To counter that, ESA has arranged for weekly cup-like tournaments for the entirety of July starting on the 10th, and at the end of the month, the winning teams will compete up to 10k US dollars in prize pool. With that in mind, good luck, have fun, and leave some Fs in the comment for ESEA.